Thank you for tuning in to Terry Swoo videos. On today's video, I'm going to do a Where Are They Now on the actor Stoney Jackson. Now, I grew up in the 80s, and I thought Stoney Jackson had the coldest jerry curl on the planet. He had the best jerry curl of the 1980s, in my opinion. You had Michael Jackson, you had The Barge, you had a lot of uh, singers that had jerry curls back then. But Stoney Jackson had the best looking jerry curl of the 80s. His hair was flawless. He made me want to get a jerry curl. But my mother never allowed me to get a jerry curl. She was never going to allow that. Now, Sony Jackson appeared in several TV shows and movies throughout the 1980s. He started off as a dancer towards the late 70s. And then he transitioned into an actor. He appeared on The Love Boat for a few seasons in the early 80s. And then he got, got a starring role on a TV show called The Insiders in 1985. But this show only lasted for one season. And then he moved on to 227, where he appeared in a few seasons of 227, towards the late 80s. But his most famous role from the 80s is this movie Streets of Fire. In this movie Streets of Fire, he plays the lead singer in this R&B group. In this movie, he shows off his dancing ability. And I thought he did a great job of acting in this movie. And I think Streets of Fire is one of the most underrated classic movies of all time. I advise anybody to check it out. It's really good. And it, it, he shows his dancing abilities. This man can dance. He can act. The, Streets of Fire is one of my favorite movies of the 80s. And it's a very underrated movie. I advise anybody to check it out. And then in the 1990s, the most famous movie he plays in is Angels in the Outfield, where he plays a baseball player. Angels in the Outfield was a highly successful movie, and it's probably the most successful movie that he ever appears in in his entire career. And he also appeared in the movie Trespass with Ice Cube and Ice T. So he's done a lot of work throughout his career. He's had a long, successful career. Today, he's 60 years old. And as you can see, he still looks young. He still looks healthy. And I'm glad to see that he's still alive and well. He still acts from time to time, but he's not as busy as he used to be. Today, he works as a counselor in Southern California. He's married with two kids. And I'm just happy to see that he's still alive and well. If anybody has any opinions about this topic, leave a comment. Rate and subscribe.